Oh yes, it's panto season, and theatre makers say we're in for a real treat this year. A unique take on a classic story, Beauty and the Beast, right here at the Incis Hall Theatre. And there have been so many people that have been working hard to bring this to fruition. Not only the actors that you'll be seeing on stage, if you're lucky enough to get a ticket, but those working behind the scenes tirelessly to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. It's curtain up on January the 25th with shows running up until the 3rd of February. The set is finished and up, final rehearsals are over, and now it's a question of keeping those butterflies in your stomach in check. It's Beauty and the Beast, but not as you've seen it before. They're not going to see the Disney movie and they're not going to see anything they recognise at all because it's pantomime. Yeah. It's different. There's obviously you can see the inspiration, you can see the elements of the Disney uh, features in there, but it is a different story. Absolutely. So there is, yes. The magic is still there, but just yeah. in a different Expect way. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Written by Ben Crocker, this pantomime promises an enchanting evening of talking furniture, a giant French poodle, and of course a glorious dame. And for the director and assistant director, it's been a collaborative effort. Um, Erica is the choreographer, mm. uh, but she's done most of the hard work for the pantomime, well, and I'm really. just going to take all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret's the director, and I've, I've assisted her in helping her fulfil her vision, so yes, I've she, been yes. like a soundboard and yes. just bounced ideas off each other. And yes. She's supported each other where we've needed and provided opinions. She's all my whinging. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of support network, yeah? So yes. we worked, we worked work well. together. Yes. Yeah. You must love this time of year. How have reactions gone down to previous pantos during this season? Oh, gosh. Um, well, last year's reaction was stupendous, I have to say. We, we had three completely sold out performances, mm -hmm. made record, um, seat sales. It was, it was fantastic. And, and that, I hope they're not going to be disappointed this year. Mm. I think it, I think this one will match last year's. It's a lovely time of year to do the pantomime as well because you know January tends to be a bit of a, a, bit of a dry month. We've all mm. got the after Christmas blues. Absolutely. So I think this is going to really lift spirits again, and people I think people are going to really enjoy I, it. I think no? I think everybody's spirits need lifting, and <laughs> a bit of escapism in pantomime will do everybody the world of good. Performances will start at 7.30pm with matinee performances at 2.30 on Saturdays and Sundays. A British Sign Language interpreter will be available for performances on Thursday the 25th and the 1st of February. So, it sounds like one not to be missed. Tickets are on sale now. There's plenty of opportunities to see this show over the course of the next two weeks. So don't miss out on seeing Beauty and the Beast, the pantomime, right here at the Incis Hall Theatre.